Hello, my name is Doug Nichols. I'm from the southeast of South Australia. I have connection to country and I've learnt a lot of cultural knowledge out there from the old ancestors and community for many, many years working with cultural heritage. A number of cultural governance that relates to our culture. It's been around for thousands, thousands of years and uh, it's in a way a form of tools and we've got three message sticks. Okay, our first message stick is ceremony and talk. Ceremony and talk is all our stories. It's all the stories about creation of the land. It's our science, it's the knowledge, it's women's business, men's business, all of the land business and also star constellations to work out our seasonal activity times in this landscape. So a lot of stories in our ceremony and talk and, and it's very important that we try and keep that knowledge and holds on to the the most important thing is how to care for country and when we've known about our ceremony talk we go on to our hunting and gathering and when we are at hunting and gathering on our country we should know where to go because in our ceremony talk we were told where to go where the sacred places are where not to go and also where that uh, our food is and where the best water holes are so hunting and gathering is, is pretty important and as we finish hunting and gathering we've done that we've come back and we're happy we've succeeded we move on to our song and dance and song and dance is giving respect back to each other as people song and dance is giving respect back to the landscape song and dance is giving respect back to all all the things we've taken from our land and in, if we go out and hunting and gathering and we fail in that culture we don't fail we go at the ceremony and talk ceremony and talk and restart again then you go hunting and gathering then you may have song and dance and and be happy to the land that we've taken our food and information from ceremony talk hunt and gather then you may have song and dance males and the female. Very important to understand these very special birds in spirituality because they're totems from this country here that tell us what is happening in the seasons and also tell us also is that we need they need to have the right tree species back on country for the seeds they eat. It's a bull oak and stringy bark seeds and they need them trees. So we need to grow a lot more trees back to support their um, their lifestyle and the habitat areas they need we need to do more to get their food source back. But very special in a way of connecting to our culture because they tell us what weather is going to do, what the seasons are, certain squawks and sands they make tell us of uh, when the rain's going to come. They'll tell us when the seeds are ready in certain species of trees. They move around differently. So if you're watching out these special birds out on country, they'll tell you a lot of things. Very special and very important sacred totems to our area. So we're looking at um, setting some long-term uh, aspirations which forms the to adopt that, so walking with very important practice to do ceremony. It does connect us, keeps out any uh, unnecessary energies we don't want. Oh,